Hello everybody, my name is Drew, and welcome back to Feed the Beast. I'm hanging out here in my main lobby, because before we go down and do a little more nomadic craft work, or a little stare at the factory while I talk, we're going to we're gonna investigate building a few different items. Actually, no, 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 we'll, we'll, we'll do it this way. I had, a, I had a plan, and it's immediately going out the window, but that's fine. That's how we do it around here. Um... I did get these squid seeds and the fire seeds to work. As you can see here, it's slowly going, and we've got quite a number of seeds. Not a ton, obviously. Oh, that's out of some of that. So we got 17 left. Uh, I, I think it's just an orientation thing. I haven't tried any more of these, but I, I suppose I could. What seeds do I have left? These are, are squid, rain, propulsion. I believe I had... Burst seeds, ender, fire's empty right now, squid's empty, squid's got chopper. So let's try these chopper plant seeds out for half a moment. I want to know if this is strictly an orientation problem. We'll go down here to the end. So that does have a program running. Let me grab some bone meal and we'll see what happens. Because I am very interested to know. Chopper plant. Okay, so it does nothing immediately. That's interesting. So shouldn't have to look for targets. Okay, so what if we looked for target? This is, I believe I said south, right? Yeah, it's south. So we're gonna look for target. Cemetery is cool. Target south. Activate. North deactivate. Did it do it? No, it didn't. Hmm. Mission target items. Oh, you know what? Because let's let's try changing that. Let's see, let's click on the box. Okay, so it'd be this guy right here. Chopper plants. Uh, fuzzy detection. No. That's interesting. It's looking. Block gate. Selected is cool. Target. South is active. Looking for if any of those. Oh, I wonder if I have to reselect inventory. Select. Ah, ah. Aha, okay. Okay, so maybe this is the problem. Inventory, this guy, because this really shouldn't matter. That's activated, that's cool. Output inventory will actually be that guy. And we'll tell it to do target, that's cool. Up, down, items, just one of those, just one. But yet it doesn't go any further. Huh. So I'm still bewildered by this. I might have to re -complete, like, completely jigger this, but whatever. I tried. Doesn't matter. Should work, but doesn't. That's, that's fine. Um, anyway, let's, let's move on. Oh, I can show you this. So we have a number of these unassembled PCBs. Uh, I still have a, a bunch of these guys. So we can make a few more um, assembled PC printed circuit boards, rather. And what I'm more concerned though is I want to I want to get rid of these. I want to get rid of these compressors. They annoy me, they upset me. They're gonna go the way of the dinosaur. And we're going to make some more advanced machinery related to pneumaticraft. Now I don't think I have all the plastics I need, but we're gonna find out. So let's go at pneumaticraft. And the first thing we want to look at was the Flux compressor. Okay, so the flux compressor is all relatively easy to make, minus the compressed iron gears. Which I will make three of these, because I want to make three of these flux compressors. Because we really want to be able to, to just wrap up, ramp up on power. That's, that's, that's the goal here. Um, other thing we can do, kerosene lamp. That's interesting. Um, so we needed, what else do we need for you? Right, we need a turbine reactor, which is relatively easy to make, 
I just need red. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. I can do that. We'll grab redstone, which we're going to need a bunch of. So hold on. Turbine blade. So the turbine blade is two to one. So I need three. So I need one, two. Eh. That's how many I need of that, just to keep them straight. And then gold, we'll only need three of these. That's easy. Okay, so that's our turbine blades. We'll go make those in a half a moment. And oh, you know what? I wanted to make it really easy to get bone meal. So I had a theory about this. And I think we can use Jamba to our advantage here. So I'm going to make a level four upgrade kit here. And I'm going to say, where is the B space upgrade? Hopper. Maybe I'm wrong. Where are you? Storage. It's a void. Creative upgrade that doesn't help me in any way, shape or form. Huh. I thought you had to have a specific upgrade. Oh, there it is. B space. A doy. Ah, uh, Rainy's Mender Chests. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so I need to make an Ender Chest then. Ender Chest. Okay, will you make me two? Ah, uh, Wool, come on. Come on, Wool. Okay, now we can make two. Wool is one of those things that always seems to be in very, very short supply. All right, so now we should be able to make two of these. Oh, you know what? I should make I should make a whole string of these upgrades. One, because these will take two upgrade slots. Two. I don't even know that I have level three on any of these, so I may have made the diamond upgrade a little prematurely, but that's okay. Diamond should do us fine. Okay, so if we go over here to these barrels, what I want to do, right, so they don't have any of the gold, so I'm going to take the gold, I'm going to go kabonk, so it's got five upgrade slots, which is great, we're going to grab B space upgrade, so it's now got that. What I need to do is make another barrel which I have, and we're going to go over to our other location, actually. Let's make that beast base tuning fork while we're at it. No, no beast base. Tuning. Tuning fork. Whistle tuner. Ah, that is beast base. Surprisingly easy to make, actually. All right, so now I can get rid of things in my inventory like that. And the factory block can go in there. Okay, let's try this out. I have no idea if this will actually work. I think it will. I think I can attune this before I go over. But I'm not 100% certain. Fork starts resonating. Okay, so the fork is resonating. That's cool. Let's go see what happens. Oh, I'm so excited to make mini guns to put out here, by the way. That's going to be so cool. Let's put this let's put this right here for now. And on this guy, uh, I'm going to run out of time, aren't I? Yeah. Okay, so that did not work the way I wanted it to, but that's fine. I have to be quick about it then. All right. So we're going to go over here. We'll try this one more time. Shift click. Starts resonating. Go, 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 go. Factory. Structure two different. Find a common frequency. Oh, no. Oh, God. Come on. Okay, hold on. I can do this. Uh, how am I going to do this? I, I, God damn it. 
I guess I need to put the the diamond upgrade on that barrel too. I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder where'd that go? Jabba. I wonder if... Okay, so I guess I need... How many structural upgrades did I... I've got the diamond one, but I also need... I guess I need... A void upgrade... And three storage upgrades? No. Yes, three storage upgrades. Okay, so let's grab... Jabba, and say storage upgrades. One, two, three. Okay, so if I do it this way, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to... It's going to take a little bit of thought. Because there's they need to be different. I don't know that I can... Okay, so that guy's all set up. Go. Go, 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 go. Now, I hope this works. Backwards. Let's find out. Barrel contents for the resonating. No! God damn it. Yeah, go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Oh, we're losing time. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, 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 no. No, 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 motherfucker. Okay, forks are resonating. There is nothing in that barrel, although it is locked. Uh, go, go. Keep going, keep going. Structure too different. Ah, oh, come on. Fuck you guys. Man. I believe this is what we would call bullshit. What is it that you need? Structure too different. Did I fuck that up? How many... How many upgrades do you have? Maybe none. Maybe no upgrades. Okay, hold up. So let me make three more storage upgrades and see what happens then. I'm gonna need more barrels. Just thankfully relatively easy to make. One, two, three. So hold on, let me see what happens then. I guess I, I guess I screwed those up, eh? Yeah, there's no storage upgrades on, I think, any of these. Okay, so that'll now hold a metric butt-ton of bones. I'm going to empty it. Actually, first things first, I'm going to block it for a half a moment. Well, empty it out like this. So here, here's my plan. I'm going to empty it. Oh, this is brilliant. This will work. It's okay. It's empty. We're going to do that. Fork starts resonating. I'm going to go like mad. Uh, okay, got plenty of time. Start your two different. Find a common breeze, you can see. Oh, fuck off. What do I need to make? Oh, I know what I need. I need a void upgrade, too. Jesus, this is like both great and terrible. Okay, void upgrade. I can do this. Oh, no, I, I need that. Okay. Let's try this again. I will get this. Third time's charm. What do you guys think? Maybe we can do this? Just wasted like 15 minutes of this episode doing this? All to make sure bone meal gets close at hand? All right. So now they are quote unquote structurally resonating the same. Swear to God, if it's not the same now, I'm going to fucking kill something. All right, all right, all right, all right. Go. Contents of barrel. There are no contents in this barrel. Fuck it. You know what? Here, let's just break it. Oh, and I broke the thing on the back of it. Good job, Drew. All right, well, I'm completely screwed here. All right. I'm going to be, I'll be right back guys.
All right, guys, I should have what we need to make ourselves some badass compressors. Let's go on over here and let's see what we're making these guys. I'm really excited about this because I it's a little more advanced than the last time I tried to do this, but uh, we should be able to do this. So flux compressor, which would be this bad boy here. So let's go ahead. We're going to start with these uh, turbine blades, which I've got all down here. Let's see. All right, that makes pretty easy. Let's go ahead. We'll make the rest of... Uh, nope. I want to do... Like at this, right? Yeah. All right, so we've got our our, our turbine blades. They can all go in here. I believe that was a wand that I just threw away. It was. Get back here, builder's wand. Okay, so flux turbine or compressor. This guy. All right, so we should have our ingots and everything else. Oh, what am I missing? I'm missing. Oh, I need advanced pressure tubes. No. Oh, come on. A block of compressed iron plus drill and laser. Ugh. Man. Pressure chamber valve. So if I went valve. Because we only need one. Let me make another pressure chamber valve. I think this will work. Except for I'm out of compressed iron. God damn it. I thought that was just a regular pressure tube it needed. Ugh. That's fine. This is, easy. this is easy. We got this. We can do this. Yep. I'm going to grab a stack of that stuff. Thank God we have so much iron. If we didn't have that, this would be very laborious. And I would not be happy. Okay, so we can go over here. Make sure you check your recipes before you do things, kids. Moral of today's story. Okay, so we've got more than enough here. So now how do I make advanced pressure tubes then? Now I've got the laser program, which is good, which is I think is what we have. Okay, so this should be fine. 20 of those, 8 of those. All right, let's go in and... Let's see what happens. So it's not standby mode, but I'm going to take these out of there. Put those in. Okay, how much pressure do you need? Oh, you need to wait a little while. Ugh. Ugh. All right, that's fine. It's totally fine. Totally fine. Because your chamber valves can go there. Uh, in the meantime, let's set this guy up. Oh, I need a blueprint. So let's go grab a blueprint in the meantime. While that gets made. There we go. I should get around to putting niter under that uh, cauldron, but eh. What can you do? Alright, so we want to make a blueprint. Right? That's what we want. No, maybe not. Hmm. Should be under here somewhere. Blank. Red print. Schematic. They call them schematics. Of course. All right. So we've got our blank schematic. We have plenty of bone meal. So let's go ahead. I should have a test rack over there. And let's see about wiring this up so that we have plenty of bone meal on hand at all times. Uh, I should have put the test rack over here. So what we're going to tell it is we're going to go over here, go like this, like that. Not the escape button, that button. And we'll tell it we want to insert. And we're going to configure this guy as... Okay, blue's fine, that can go there. Orange goes out, that's cool too. I'm gonna put the blank schematic in here. And we're gonna tell it um, on bone. Bam. So this now uses one bone. Now I need to take this 
and set the top to where it needs to go. Be insert, that's going to be extract, always active, and it should start dumping bones, but it's not going to do anything because there's no power. So let's power this sucker. We'll go ahead, we'll put our tesseract right around here, say. Uh, we'll move it over. No, let's move it over. Let's go, let's go over here. No, beside, beside that. Okay, there we go. That's fine. That can go there. Now we can fill those holes in that I just made. All right. So now we can grab our ender conduits, or energy conduits, rather. And go along the wall like that. The reason I'm doing that is that this is going to get pushed back a little bit, and the compressors will be along here. And I'm going to stagger them. And the reason I'm staggering them is that they're individually going to have their own redstone lines that extend all the way back over here. As you can clearly see, I have extended this room. Uh, that's just for safety and, and redundancy, because I like both of those things. Okay, so that going there. And this is working, but it's not doing anything. Why not? Oh, because it's not turned on yet. Derp. All right, okay. We'll turn you to, I guess mining will be fine. It just needs power. I suppose I should make sure that it is receiving. Oh, good, receiving. So if there's only a power line, it'll only get power. There we go, and it goes relatively quick. And this has got a bunch of storage upgrades on it, so you can see up there in the tool chip, it will hold a whopping 28,000 bits of bone meal. This is good news for us. This is very good news for us. It means that at any given time, I can just walk over there, grab some bone meal easily. Mind you, and all will be well with the universe. Oh good, that's running. Yeah, okay. Done, almost done, almost done. Eight advanced, oh sweet, okay. Oh, I'm so excited, I'm so excited for this to work. I kind of wish I'd remembered to charge my staff, but that's okay. All right, let's make this thing happen. So let's go flux compressor right there. Oh, I forgot the printed circuits. Gosh, damn it. And I have to charge this. Not enough power. There's not enough power. Why would there be enough power? Okay, so our printed circuit boards are... Oh, where are the actual... Okay, that's fine. Because I'm, I'm going to make more just in case. I'm going to print Printed circuit boards. There's three more for the cause. We have eight in total. Should be able to make four compressors. I only want to make three to start with. I don't think four will be strictly necessary, but it would allow for a much more stable and faster filling network. So there is that. Okay, flux compressor, flux transformer. Oh, that was for railcraft. Yeah, don't care. Yeah, one. We'll put those and those in there. Two. Will it make four? Okay, three. We made three. Three is good for now. I can I can live with three for the time being. Oh, we need to make safety valves. Jesus Christ, I almost forgot. Safety valves. Okay, so for these we need our pressure gauges. Let's make three of these just in case. Having extra never hurt. One, two more of those. One more of those. Okay. I'm going to grab some redstone as well. I'm going to grab these two lovers. Okay, so now we should have everything to set this system up. God, I hope so. 
because here's how I want to set this up. Oh, help if I'm standing on the actual. Thank you. So we're going to put. Let's find a place for the first one. Let's get rid of this guy really quickly. That guy's running still. Are these still running? Yeah, they are. So I'll let them be. Because you can see this is like putting out just near five, 4.9 bars. So it makes me a little nervous. Let's have a line. We need a line of 10, right? So from back here, it's got to go start over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. So that's where our safety valve has to be. And if I throw one of the levers down, let's empty our inventory really quickly. Like that guy, that guy. These we will need. Those we'll need. Okay, so if we throw one of the levers down here, it should give us a output of six. Perfect. So that's one group. So we'll have Okay, so let's actually break all this. Oh no, he's breaking things. What are you doing? Relax. I have a semi idea of what I'm doing. I am a professional occasionally. It is fine what I'm doing. Okay, so we're going to have, we're gonna have our first flux compressor like right here. And I think I can power them through the top. I think. I don't know where the pneumatic tubes are gonna connect though. Oh, right there, okay, good. So, so this will go, so this is here's how it's gonna go. It's gonna go actually like this. So the compressor will be there the safety valve will go right here. So you can see that it's immediately would start dumping any of the uh, overpressure as close to the source as possible. I mean, there's one tube, but I don't think that one tube will explode. Um, at least one can hope. So that guy will go there. Second one will go here. And we can see my pattern already to like this. So here's our second dump valve, third dump valve, and then it can go out one more like that. So the network is sealed now. And I'm knocking holes in walls, that's fine. And we can put other accessories and things and whatnot around. That's fine. So that's that. Let's see if we can power this goddamn thing. So there's that. We'll run our redstone lines very quickly because we're running short on time. Now, does that have a thing of six? That's four. Okay, so that doesn't help me. It's actually got to be separate. That's fine. That's actually totally fine. I know it's a little overkill and probably could be done better, but this is the way that uh, makes the most uh, makes the most sense to my brain. Okay, those are all sixes, perfect. Now, if I was using advanced tubing, obviously we could set this a little higher, but I'm not, so we're not. Okay, and. Getting flux? Yes, no. It is getting flux. Heat. This machine requires or produces heat. Heat can be applied by placing a block that generates heat next to this machine. Think of the vortex tube. But also lava that fast but requires power. To cool down a machine, remove the heat survey by speeding up the process by placing down ice. Interesting. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so, ah, all right. We will need to, I will need to look into that, but that seems to me that uh, this whole thing can blow up at a moment's notice. 
And I don't like that. I'm not a fan of that. Not going to lie. Okay, so that can go there. And our UV light socks can go back over here. And everything else is gravy. I'm going to turn off these now. Rock on. All right, so now we have a much more automated system that will totally not explode on us. Knocking on wood as I say that because it could very well explode on my face. Um, you know what? Just to give the system a quick boost, we're going to also have these three compressors on there. Shouldn't need them, but you never know. Once they turn off, they turn off. This is basically just for I need like air power immediately. So if these guys are making are, are making heat, I wonder. I'm wondering how we would get rid of it easily. Because I'm wondering about that. All right. Well, I'm going to do a little research then, and see what uh, what is said about that. But anyway, guys. Uh, this will be the end of the episode. We now have ourselves a fully automated compressor system that is uh, more or less safe. Don't quote me on that. But uh, yeah, this is where we're at for now. Uh, as usual, if you like the episode, you can go ahead and leave a like. Uh, a reward, uh, wow, I'm going to start that after again. If you liked the episode, go ahead and leave a like. You can always find other work I have done in the description box below. And of course, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye-bye.